Hi, welcome to this different than usual video on steampunk, a genre that still fascinates engineers and sparks inventiveness among them. So watch this video till the end to get your creative juices flowing. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world. Subscribe to our channel today to get updates to our latest videos. Steampunk, as some of you might be aware, is a sub-genre of science fiction that has a historical setting and typically features steam-powered machinery rather than modern technology. It can also be characterized by the absence of electricity and electrical appliances. In other words, it relates to a pre-electricity age. Example of steampunk in literature is the book The Difference Engine by William Gibson and Bruce Sterling. In the movies, it is the 1999 Wild Wild West starring Will Smith. In animation, it is the 2004 Steam Boy. In video games, there are quite a few examples like the Chaos Engine, Mist, and Bioshock Infinite. There are two elements of this genre that are appealing to fans. One is purely the aesthetics of the era. The second is the science of the era. People who are attracted to purely aesthetics of steampunk are more interested in costumes and articles that represent that setting or that period. And it is true, some of the devices are iconic. For example, the accordion camera, the diver suit, and the zeppelin, etc. And so we find there are cosplay events dedicated to steampunk that happen frequently around the globe. It is, however, the science of this subgenre that we will be exploring in this video. The invention of the steam engine had a transformative effect on the world. Because of it, we started mass producing many products. Boats and ships were not at the mercy of weather anymore. Locomotive reduced the commuting times, it stretched the traveling distances, and brought security of supply. This was all because of one ingenious machine, the steam engine. And then there are systems of power transmission through pipes and networks of gear, chains, shafts, cams, flywheels that have their own visual and creative appeal. So part of the appeal of the steampunk genre is the appreciation of the level of progress mankind made that truly ushered us in the modern age. Steampunk narrates an era that separates the medieval and the modern times. It is the time of exploration when much of the world as we know today was still being discovered. It is the time of ingenuity. It is the birth of modern technology that propelled us forward from the horse-drawn age. It is the era of post-Renaissance. The second reason why its appeal is enduring is that the technology of the steampunk era was relatively easy to understand. Think about the locomotive and one can break down the processes in their mind that happened from the burning of coal to power on the wheels. Whereas now, look at a modern day cell phone. There are so many layers of technology in that small yet complex device that it is difficult to keep up with what is happening. There's a layer of hardware and then there's a layer of software. Modern technology has an intangible element to it. And this is where there's a disconnect in the masses taking an interest in the technology. If you look at people who appreciate steampunk, they are not necessarily people with engineering degrees or PhDs. Most of them are common people that have a slight interest in technology. This slight interest in technology, however, takes them a long way in understanding the environment of steampunk era than it does in the modern age. For this reason, we find tales by H.G. Wells, like War of the Worlds, and Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, standing the test of time. In the steam age, you could see how objects worked. They were tangible. Steam was a visible form of energy. You could possibly recreate these objects. And above all, in the steampunk genre, one feels more in control of the technology rather than the other way around. In a sense, it is diametrically opposite to the genre of cyberpunk, where humans seem to be reduced to a lower quality of life, even with much advanced technology at their disposal. Many a times in a story set in the steampunk genre, the author or creator would imagine modern devices made up of components available in the steam age. For example, we often see completely mechanical telephones made up of pipes, we notice steam-powered airships, steam-powered submarines, etc. 
And sometimes we notice things that are not even possible with today's technology being created in the image of the steam age technology, like a flying train from the Back to the Future 3 or Castle in the Sky as shown in Miyazaki's animation Lapidra that was first imagined by Jonathan Swift in 1726. It's really interesting that contrary to the popular belief, there are many items of steam age that are needed more than ever today. These include the zero emission Stirling engines, the solar cookers, the solar water heaters, the trome wall and wind catcher etc. There's another advantage to them. These devices are not susceptible to EMP disturbance. So in the future, if there is an invasion that cuts out our electricity supply, we can always turn to our tried and tested technology of the steam age. So what are your thoughts about steampunk and what is your favorite movie or animation or book from this genre? Please do share them in the comment box. What's your favorite device, article or machine from this era? Please do let us know about it. I've put a list of things that interest me in the description section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and as ever, thank you for your attention.